Through our anti-poaching efforts, we realized a little while ago that one of the most effective tools that this country has to counteract poaching activities was canines. So although we need aircrafts and helicopters and UAVs and all sorts of other tools in our toolbox, the most effective tool, tool is still man and, man and a dog. So Paramount Group has recently set up a very, a, a very focused, dedicated anti-poaching canine training facility. When we look at what a dog is going to do when he's an adult, it's 50% genetics and 50% what you do with that genetics. So it is vital to choose the right breeding stock to produce the right puppies. And from a very young age, train these puppies to be able to handle all sorts of environments and um, things that get thrown to them. These dogs are being trained for anti-poaching. That means basically tracking and advanced man tracking as well as explosive detection and then attack work. What we're looking at here is the latest in tactical wear for the dogs. We're looking at the goggles which is called doggles specially made for dogs and it's not just there for fashion it's actually there to protect the dog's eyes when deployed by chopper. When the chopper lands and the blades are still running it prevents all the dust and grass and debris from going into the dog's eyes. The boots that we have here are also, if we look at places like the Kruger National Park, there's a lot of thorns that can cause damage to the dog's feet. So these boots are providing protection to the dog's feet, as well as when we do breaching in a hostage release scenario um, through windows. Uh, if there's broken windows or uh, steel that can cut the dog's feet, these boots protect the dog's feet from that. We're on our way to see Parabot. Parabot is a giant transformer that we've created out of our revolutionary Mbombe vehicle. Mbombe, you might remember we, 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 we launched a few years ago, is an um, a anti, anti mine protection vehicle that is world famous today because of its capabilities and its competence. And we've taken Mbombe and produced a 10 meter high transformer robot to actually showcase our move as an organization into the field of robotics, as well as to demonstrate the role that we believe the defense industry has to play in conservation activities.